Show me, show me that Red Bull, show me. Red Bull. You want photo with me? Okay. <laughs> bro, you want to play football? I'm not the football. No, please no, bro. My sister is not. Yeah, Wonder, come here, please. There's some video we have to do, come. Yeah, we have to come up, you know, to this beautiful stage. So Ready? whatever. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, <laughs> <risa> Está bonito, Spain versus Spain, and as these rivalries heat up, let's see if Team Heretics can get it over the finish line. Be our third team to qualify for playoffs. Mission should be there as Flacken goes for a bit of an all in here, but they're not finding much more until Trippy decides to re engage onto Super. The Ignite's down. He's got his summoners there, but they leave it so long as the double root flies through. It's great from the MDK bottom lane, but Yankos is here. Alvaro overcommits onto Trimby. He's trying. He's got nowhere else to go, and Yankos takes the kill. Trimby survives. Yeah. Trimby is at 6k. They're trying. Mirwin is zoning off for the time being, but he's engaged. On to Trimby, on to Alvaro, backline's good, Frescao, he comes on in. The Spirit Rush is great, but Trimby just says no. Flacken hasn't been hit as the flash comes away, and I wasn't even looking at Big Bad Wonder in the top side. Taking his own charge there with Yankos, and everyone's looking at who is following behind in charge. Who's going to be next to move to five wins? We thought Mad might upset on the day. But once we got out of that early game in that one big fight, Team Heretic said shut the front door, it doesn't matter anymore. And Team Heretics will be your third team locked in spring playoffs from the LEC.
Are you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. I mean, my laning phase, I'm not feeling really good because my laning phase was bad, you know? It was like average, bro, in this matchup. Yeah. Bam him, you know, but I didn't bump him. No, well, it's malicious, man. No, was no I was just uh, touching if it's real. It's How is it like that? Real. Why is my hair not like that? I don't know anything. <laughs> ah, because it's not uh, Kurdi. Yeah, but why? <laughs> ah, your parents? I don't know. Generic. Ah, look, you're flaming oh, my parents right now? <laughs> I'm flaming your parents. Yeah, I mean, they have to put more effort, man. That's not. No. Okay. Look, Shaira, my people love you. Bro, I love your people and I love Spanish people. Like, all That's of them. Nice. So, you know. I went out of for coffee like four times to some uh, places. It's so expensive in Berlin, but it doesn't matter. And then I went to the other one, and there is Spanish guy, bro. You feel the energy, like bro, like yeah. you just feel it, you know, like Spanish you guys energy. are talented. I don't know how you guys were born like Good this. Good Pepineros energy. Yeah, it's Spanish, know. man. You guys were born different, <laughs> I think, somehow. But I will get there one day, okay? Yeah, of course. We are half Spanish already. Yeah. I mean, Bolivia. half. I will learn Spanish at some point. That's good. Because like I really like this language. For example, German one, I don't like that much. But the Spanish one is so good. Okay, okay guys. You I go send all you can Spanish see. girlfriend? No, I have girlfriend Polish. Oh, curva. <laughs> curva, you go match. Thank Man, you guys so much. You, <laughs> Take care, see you. We'll be here tomorrow. A pleasure, man. Maybe the gold? The gold is the same. It's like for all It's like talking to us. It's fucking cold now. He just is in the room, it's too fucking warm. That's true. Okay, guys, it's like oh probably five God. degrees. Five I degrees, no more. Like, it's like 10. Okay, six. It's, so it's six degrees, guys. Oh. It's six it's nice. degrees and it says. So we have to walk fast, no? Yeah, yes. It says, feels like four. Wind is making it colder. And there's fucking water everywhere. I'm not touching it. Okay, Yanko, show me your touch. Okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did it. Guys, you got white shoes? You just got this. We got the yes one. I'm playing the yes one. Olaf, Jonathan, Summer, Zeri, Rika. Our draft is now. Ah, this is them. What? I want to say, it looks yeah. so good. <laughs> <laughs> our, draft, our, draft is, our draft is now Sichuani, Oriana, Yasuo, and Senna. Oh, we don't have Oriana. Yeah. And we have Yasuo and Senna. So I'm taking it. If we have the flag at Yasuo, we win. We kind of want to win two games, you know, because I think after three you win every skirmish, yeah. even six. But I think level one if they gank, I mean, I will most likely start E in this lane. If yeah. they come, I can like still be doing. Guys, oh my god, but that I mean that is really good though. That happens. Okay, yeah, yeah it's very yeah, good. Ghost Flash Olaf. Yeah, Ghost Flash Olaf and he's <laughs> laying as good. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sad. Oh, god, okay. oh then, okay. yeah. I will start probably top side and I'll be pumping to boss. And only if Olaf is playing like a complete so aggressive, okay. then I will maybe go top. Sure. But if not, I will just put him to boss. And we can take fights. And if you want me to skip camps to be faster, just tell me. Yeah. Then it's like hard commit. And you're going to put it in a nice yeah. foul as well, so... Yeah, I will, I will ask you. It's going to be hard to play the game that we asked for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, sure. When we did this combo in scrim, I like, 5k, 5k, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's OP for sure. Yeah. Because they need to run, so I can, I should be able to get... All it takes, I think, all of the whole fights, so it's an hard game, little side lane. I think it's okay to give them the idea. Yeah, it's crazy. If they're doing, like, they're the fucking camera, bro. Right, that is the best thing. That's true. <laughs> Fully agree that Jankos is playing incredibly well. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing him play today. I'm excited to see what he can do. Obviously, he is feeling extremely confident right now, and he definitely should be. 
going up against KC. Heretics are definitely the favorite. Really interesting compositions. Very excited to see how things play out. We're jumping into our final game of the day. It's week three of Spring Split here. About third right now, looking to go in. The quickness goes, but Flacker the only one caught by it. Flashed away by Trimby, 3,000 HP on the Drake. Bo goes in with a Cataclysm, the re-engage, but Trimby still alive on the Drake. Who's gonna take it? It's secured by Cavalshot. Flacker trying to dive in. Cavalshot doing everything he can, but he'll fall as well. A decisive victory in the fight for Heretics. They find four, only Bo survives the Drake though to Carmine Court. KC get completely wiped. Trimby forced off towards the top side. There's the TP in by Wonder. He's built up that Meganar bar. Targamas still just suspicious as he goes in. There's the charm and there's a chase in from Cabo Shot. Stopwatch from Zyru. Dawning shadow from Trimby for a bit of extra shield and Cabo Shot's already down. The flash away from Zyro as well will keep him alive and this is routing. Carmine Court left for dead. Heretics and get three kills after killing Bo off earlier. Zyru's gonna survive as well. They will get the Baron. And everything swings in the favor of Heretics. And then just walks at them. Like, Trimby does so much damage. He's got opportunity humorous. Look at this. Trimby just killed him. That was all Trimby. <laughs> yeah, got scared. But get the hell out of my kill feed. You didn't assist on that. That was all Trimby. Even all through the, the ultimate, time. just to secure it as well. 150 stacks on the center at 30 minutes. And now the Nexus towers the target. The flash away oh. by Trimby as Targamus looks for the engage. Trimby is having an absolute purple patch as Heretics are looking to beat Carmine Court, Purple and Bruce. This will be the Nexus. Heretics will take it. <laughs> I'm so pleased. It was good. Did you enjoy? A lot. Did you see the flash from the mantra Q? Holy shit, bro! It was so close two times. Look at the damage. Do the damage. 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 Look. Flacket 13k. Arturo 24. Who's the puppy? I'm the puppy. Happy. 13k. ¿Estaba nervioso o cero? No, no, o sea, yo me he levantado y digo, van a piquear cero y voy a sacar un Yasuo, pero más guarro que, que la mano de Whirly. ¿no? Sí, pero es tan guarro, me canso. Depende de qué mano, pero me caso que, que jodido. Eh, realmente, ¿va tan, tan bien contra va, va tan bien contra Ceri? Sí, sí, no, no puedo hacer mucho a Ceri en línea. O sea, a no ser que me caliente un montón. Pero. Claro, pero que... Y luego las teamfights la denegabais bestialmente. Sí. Hubo una que le pusiste el muro y no podías sí, hacer nada. Sí, sí, sí. En, la en, en, el, en el nexo también le he puesto un sí. muro en la cabeza. No juega, y no puedo jugar. Eh, así que nada, chicos, vamos a despedirnos, ¿vale? Que también estará Flaque y nosotros eh, reventados. reventados. Si en playoffs avanzáis, espero que sí. Bueno, digo os avanzáis, pero es que no sobrando. Nos haría venir otra vez, pero no sé. Sí, lo haremos, pero ¿no? Estaría, estaría gordo, estaría pero gordo. Sí. Claro. Eh, hombre, si avanzáis lejos, hacedme caso que llegaremos. Así que, haced vuestra parte. Eh, te pago, pagamos. <risa> <risa> y y, y nos vamos bueno. tío. Eh, gracias desde aquí, obviamente, a Sendo Petaki siempre. Gracias a Flaque por, aparte de ser guapo, buen jugador, gracioso, pasarse por aquí, que no tiene por qué, y por haber ganado con Yasuo. Si yo lo hacen tan bien, que vivimos. Súper bien, eh. Flaque es súper bien, te sí, veo, hermano, eh. Bueno. Cabeza fría, tío, en serio, eh. Cabeza fría. Me, me voy a echar los... Sí, pero que si te subo una mierda al final, ¿sabes? Cabeza fría y, si, y seguir, ¿sabes? Ya me entiendes. Chao, This guy is like that doesn't give us privacy, man. <laughs> Don't do this. Yeah. <laughs> But it's good. Well, good to work. No, you're toxic. What happened? No, you're toxic. You're toxic. toxic. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't stop. That's a camera. I'm gonna sue you, and you're gonna get fucked.
For what? Idiot. For what? For being idiot. Oh my god. Don't do this. <laughs> don't put your hands <laughs> down. Because it's okay. Don't stop. For stop. Me, you know, like when you stop. put your hands like that. We need to be always ready. Hope on this. It's pretty fucked up. Oh. Any problem? You midget? Don't mind, don't mind. Sir. What did you say? Wait, you have any you problem? You cannot say that. You call me a midget? Yeah. Bro, you're one turn. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, so what? You're like 1.01. .01. No, I can adopt you if I want. Shut up. <laughs> okay, sure. Let's meet, the Let's meet in the rift, bro. Let's meet in the rift. What are you like? Fucking 45 already, bro? Fuck it, what the fuck? 29 actually. 29, that's pretty fucking old, bro. Yeah. You have to calm him. No, I cannot calm him. I cannot calm him. out your top lane, man. This guy is like taunting me every, every time. Every time, this guy. So toxic. But didn't your parents tell you to not talk to strangers? Yeah. But they Why told me to talk to idiots all the time. Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. We can fight if you want. I don't mind. We can fight. Like the we can fight. We can fight. Then you say no, you. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Like like it, it, like it. It. Head, head fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Oh, so it's fine. Me. I got your back, bro. <laughs> I got your back, bro. bro. He's my friend. Yeah, I know he's your friend, but he's not gonna be <laughs> your friend anymore, bro. I'm telling you. That guy is, is really toxic. What are you saying? He's really, really toxic. Oh, fuck it, fuck it. It's fine, it's fine. You're good, you're good. Bam! Ah. Actually, but I'm used, usually when we go on stage now, I know what I'm playing. So now, today, I don't know what I'm playing. Welcome to the best league in the world. Today is the last day of spring regular season and with no team up for elimination just yet, playoff spots are up for grabs. But we are getting ready for Heretics versus Giant X. You remember if they win this, they are locked into our top eight, into our playoffs. Hook's gonna land from Trimby, puts the ignite down on Patrick. Lightning crash as well from Flacker. Ignite flashes, battle dances away. Level six for Flacker though means that he's very willing to flash forward further as Patrick falls low. Ignar can block these, but he decides against it. And now Ignar's hooked under the tower. There's two for Flackhead. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Wonder was looking for the dive with Yankos. There's the shadowing strike, and Wonder will fall. The cameramen want a piece of the action. It's like the office all over again as the hook does go down onto Peach. There's a chain of corruption as well. Peach stunned up. Feromancy tries to dash away. Chased down by Wonder. There's a CC from Ignar, but Peach will be forfeit. They steal away the Rift Held but they do lose their jungler for it. Playoffs. Wonder and Flackhead try to do anything, but the challenge is denied by Giant X. It's impossible. Wonder goes back in, lands the knocker, but he's stunned. Void Rush trying to get out to the back of it. Cease and assist the one to Odo Omne means that they can begin to open up, but they just don't have any damage. Wonder's a tank. Yankos has a sundered sky for all that's helping as he goes down. Sent to join his friends in the sky, it seems, as Giant X, in convincing fashion, will lock their spot in spring playoffs. Even no, though we, we could to. kill him. I mean, we you, you should have killed Fako. I, I told you, like, I also said, we, yeah. if we chunk him, we just TP back. I have TP, he's mega fuck. Yeah, I mean, I could just Q in, right? And he what flashes happens as we, we are dying and stuff. And then he gets to push out the wave, and now he's not fucked, you know? Yeah, it's like I the worst that can happen. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna be like mega fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if we're playing Rek'Sai Vi and he's playing Jace, we need to gank him. That's how they play every single time we play against Rek'Sai. Yeah. I mean, we just fucked up with a shit day, we fucking lost one ban. Like, Jay should never be in the game, we want to play Rek'Sai. Uh, well, I think that 6 and 3 is not a bad result. I feel like we could have done much better, but at the same time, uh, the game against Giants was very disappointing, so I think uh, we ha could have done better. Which means that, uh, you know, we have to focus on ourselves and keep grinding. For sure, our last game was not really like, you know, something that would be nice to end off, you know, the regular split, and it looks a bit like 
it feels a bit bittersweet the season overall because of it. It's hard for me to kind of compare, right, how it was in winter, but at least uh, looking at it how like we play now, I think we're like trying to be more decisive on the things. And I think sometimes we think about the things that other teams not really do, or you know, that's kind of at least how it feels. Well, I feel like we are working hard at the split. Um, I think we are staying in the office longer and we are um, arriving earlier, right? So our day starts at 11 in the office, which basically means you have to wake up probably at 10, 9. Uh, and then we normally leave the office around 8 p.m. or later, 8.30. So I feel like we are trying to work harder, as well as, of course, we have two new players that are bringing a lot of uh, fresh air to the team, right? I think that Trimby has a lot of good ideas, and Zbiro um, was being coached by Team Heretic staff, which is basically... I think the idea of playing the game is the same in academy as in the main roster, so I think a lot of habits he developed over his um, time in academy is very good for the LAC team as well. I'm not sure, I mean, it's like fine, right? Like, I don't think there's like anything special yet, I would say. I think we're like trying slowly to figure it out what we can do as like a dual bot lane. I feel like right now we're playing, I would say it's a bit more standard, where like uh, it's more about making sure we find like a proper identity as a team. And I think with that, it also helps when we have a little bit more stable uh, lanes and at least from bot lane we're trying to make sure that you know it's stable there so that's why maybe there's not too many like cooking or like you know trying to get uh, a bit closer with like how the things want to be right with like different champions and different metas but uh, i think overall it's been like quite fine i think the group of people has been amazing so far for sure and i think like this you know like the players and coaches i think like all together it's been like really pleasurable right now it's been like actual uh, yeah, just a nice, you know, group of group of people, group of friends, you know, just like hanging around and just playing League of Legends and for oh now it's like nice that it is this way. No, I don't think I have carried the whole team on the back this split. I think I was playing well in some of the games. I also think that, you know, I had like a bad game, for example, against Giant X. Um, I think in some of the loses I was playing well. I do think I played better. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, but I do think I played better in the loses we had as well than Enemy Jungle did, um, besides the Giant X game. But um, that being said, I feel like it's a team effort and I think uh, for me at least, from my POV, it's much easier to play the game with Timby as he's doing a lot of things that I had to think about with my previous support. So uh, it's good to focus like on my own gameplay and my own game plan so that I can, you know, play better. Dziękuję wszystkim, którzy kibicują, oglądają. Naprawdę sprawia to mega przyjemność sam fakt, iż... Uh... Przez to, że mamy tylu Polaków też w drużynie, też sprawia, że tyle osób w ogóle nas ogląda i jest bardzo dużo jakby fajnych komentarzy, tak, wspierających komentarzy polskich kibiców, co no jest czymś, czego w sumie dawno nie widziałem i czymś, co trochę mi brakowało i fajnie było widzieć w innych grach, takich jak CS, więc fajnie zobaczyć, że teraz możemy jakby w środowisku lolowym, że tak ujmę, widzieć to i jestem niezmiernie wdzięczny za wszystkie słowa otuchy, jakiekolwiek wspieranie i oczywiście oglądanie nas. Mam nadzieję, że będziecie nadal nam kibicować. Dziękujemy Wam bardzo za wsparcie. Słyszałem, że Hertix ma dużo polskich fanów. Prawdopodobnie nie przeze mnie, tylko bardziej przez to, że też mamy teraz Trymbiego i Zwajro. No ale cóż, jest jak jest. Dziękujemy Wam. Mam nadzieję, że jeżeli teraz Hertix jest taki pół polski albo uznawany jest trochę za polski team, no to mam nadzieję oczywiście, że pójdzie nam dobrze w playoffach i dostaniemy się na MSI albo na Worcy w, ta, troszeczkę dalej w ciągu roku. No teraz skupiamy się na playoffach i na walce z BDS. Dzięki.